So question one for Halloween is, do people still have Halloween costume contests in college and are there breaks for Halloween? This question was submitted by Zawa underscore the underscore crazy underscore cat underscore lady. What a name. That's awesome. Okay. Crazy cat lady. Uh, I... I never got a break for Halloween in college. I don't know if colleges do that. Did your colleges give you breaks? I, I got a break during Halloween when I was studying abroad in Dublin. That was our, we got a week-long break. my hood. Not specifically for <laughs> Halloween, but we got a week-long break for, um, it was like a fall break so that we could travel. Oh, that makes sense. And it happened to fall around Halloween, but it was great because I did not want to be, I love Dublin, but Halloween is a Celtic holiday and everyone comes out to celebrate it. It's part of their culture. I support that. There are also a lot of drunk Americans in Dublin. For, for sure. Halloween specifically. For sure. And I did not want to do that. I was in Venice for Halloween. It was great. We got to see all the little Ooh. babies wandering around. Because it's just kids doing stuff there. And like I forgot it was Halloween. Aww. So. Oh, Halloween. Yeah, we, we didn't do Halloween breaks at St. Joe's. I feel like that would be maybe against the rules if they did, because it is a Catholic <laughs> college. So, because we, we got, like, extended Easter breaks that a lot of other schools didn't get. You stuff, might get the next day off all Saints Day. We didn't. Oh. I wish we did, but we didn't. We did, however, always have, like, a really fun um, Halloween dance that That's everyone cool. dressed up for, which was always a really good time. We had a Halloween dance, but no one went to it. Yeah, same here. You're I right. Was, yeah, I was at... um. Champlain, as you all know, if you've been following podcasts, and every year we did a Halloween dance in the um, gymnasium, and I had to go every year because I was on the dance team, and the dance team performed, <laughs> and it was mostly the dance team and the friends that we dragged there. It was a lot of fun going to the dance. I mean, free food, free fun, like, I was all about it, but just a lot of people didn't want to go, and it wasn't on Halloween. It was, like, a Thursday night before Halloween. Huh. That's so weird. We always, like, our Halloween dances were always super popular. Like, mostly everyone was there. Everyone would, like, swarm down from the dorms no, I've in costume. No, I've people at Champlain, but we had a lot of nerds who didn't want to leave the dorm room. <laughs> <laughs> they would leave for, like, intramurals were popular things, but things like dances just, whenever they did it, the only thing that was popular was, like, Snowball, which we can get into in January. But it was, we yeah. also did one of those too. We didn't yeah. really have like dances that people talked about going to. Like they did like a monster mash party for Halloween, yeah, you arrived fun. kind of thing. That's but cool. it was like again one of those things kids yeah. don't want to go to. <laughs> yeah. It, well, I think it was on Halloween night. Even though there wasn't much going on for like school spot, like we we they would have like costume contests sometimes, like within groups, like clubs mm-hmm. would have them. Um, but a lot of it was just sort of like, cla- I think I got extra credit for one class if I dressed up, um, but it was like a point of extra credit, and I was already getting. Worth it. Yeah, it was. It was a good. Did it you was bring fun. like some ears or something to class. To put it on. Yeah. So or you had to put it on. Or a wig. Oh, really? No, you had to bring the full bow if you were gonna. Uh, okay. Not just the wig. <laughs> Not just the wig. Um, but yeah, it is. I mean, and s- people still do Halloween parties. Yeah, you can even have, like, a costume contest just, like, in your dorm, like, create one yourself if they don't have one. For sure. That, too. Or you could just order I feel like if you do it with a group of friends, especially if you're, like, a group of friends that are, like, a little competitive, Mm -hmm. it could be really fun to just do it amongst your friends because then there's not that risk of, like, oh, there could be those one or two people or group of people that's not really into it. You're like, all my friends are going to go all out. We're going to have a costume contest amongst ourselves. Can create fake awards. I also know who went trick or treating. Like on, on, week. on campus? Not or on, on campus. campus. <laughs> around just around the neighborhood they went they went trick or treating. And um, families were just like, oh look at these look at these college kids trick or treating. To be fair, like they were cosplayers, so their costumes were legit. On point. Like That's they right. were really um, nice costumes. Unlike, you know, I'll give them I'll give candy to teenagers as I'm handing it out. If they put in a legitimate effort. That's if they fair. come up in like a hoodie and say, I'm a cat. This is a good time like to make an announcement to like high schoolers because last year I was handing out candy and like seniors in high school came up to my house just dressed in all black. My dad goes, "What are you supposed to be?" And they're like, 
dressed in all black. Oh my god. <laughs> so so wear a costume. We're put in the effort. Candy. If you want to bring candy, put in some effort. And then they stole a lollipop from a little girl. Don't <gasps> steal candy from babies. <laughs> like right in front of us. We, we wow. put a whole bowl of candy in that girl's basket after. Yeah. So. Wow. And then walked her to her parents, I'm sure. Like, oh yeah, her mom was like chasing down the kids. <laughs> yeah. She's, She's just like, waiting for more candy, and her mom's just running down yeah. the street. Yeah, for a bunch of high school students. Guess, guess, guess you get to hang out with us for a little bit. <laughs> Here's some candy. Yeah, it's not creepy. That's oh, really fun. That's too bad. But yeah, um, so you, there's still fun stuff to do in costumes on Halloween and around Halloween on campus. Yeah, definitely look up what your college does because I'm sure they do something that maybe they you haven't seen an advertisement for. I actually looked up a few colleges that do really fun things. So shout out to these colleges. Ohio State does a block party and everyone wears a costume. It's like a really, really big Halloween tradition. So if you go to Ohio State or live near Ohio State, definitely go to Ohio's their block Ohio's bumping. Party. I have another friend who went to school in Ohio and they were like that. having parties and stuff all the time. They know what they're doing. <laughs> In Ohio. University of Rochester does a haunted house in their library. Ooh, that's they go cool. hard. I am can can use the park. Yeah, can I, I go? to go there? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna check out Rochester. I love I love libraries. I don't love haunted houses, but a haunted library. A library See, can be creepy. I a love haunted library would be like my and brand. haunted houses, so give go. me both. So she's gonna be in University of Rochester. I will be there soon. Yeah. On the way. What up Rochester? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently that's what people in Rochester call no, Rochester. I love that. I, I met a girl and she goes, Rochester. I've heard, I feel like I've heard that before. It was either, it was either on Friends or like How I Met Your Mother or something. I think someone referenced that. Interesting. I don't know, I'm pretty sure. girl I met like a long time ago at this no, point. No, all these kids are going to go to Rochester and go, Rochester. <laughs> <laughs> or they already do it and they're the just going, I oh, I know. She didn't go to a University of Rochester. She was from Rochester and she was like, oh, as we call it, Rochester. So it might just be her. There's but, there's definitely other people out there yeah. who are like, I know what they're talking about. I think I think her name was Sappho. Sappho. So it might be what they called it back in the Grecian days. <laughs> oh. She was a really cool person. <laughs> I met her at, I met her at a, um, an event that we can go down there and have a whole different time. <laughs> <laughs> She'll get there eventually. Yeah. The last one I have is the University of Iowa. They have dorm costume parties. Ooh, so maybe cool. that turns into a contest. Yeah. If you're an RA, like, that's a brilliant way to get your residents to come together. Oh, yeah. I mean, don't do it on uh, Halloween because no. no one's going to show up to that. But maybe, maybe like, a, like Tuesday. a Tuesday or before. the Sunday before or, like, um, we did. Although kids go home on the weekends, like, some kids. Yeah, but then on Sunday they can come, they come back from it. They're ready to go to, to work. I always just wanted to sleep on Sunday. I mean, I'm <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, sure Sunday. Not like Sunday afternoon, like Sunday no. like early evening, like Not during the football o'clock. games. Yeah, right after the football games. Have everyone dress up as their favorite mascot for the football, football game. games. It's a good idea. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So create your own opportunities. 